Hi, welcome today at a new video tutorial from Stamping with This Design. I am Linda van Veli and in this video I'd like to show you how this card came about that I've created with the Tropical Chic stamp set from Stamping Up. I started my card by creating a base from a thick Whisper White cardstock. For the front of my card I used a piece of Whisper White cardstock with a piece of paper from the Tropical Escape Designer Series paper. The Tropical Escape Designer Series paper is a gorgeous 6x6 inch paper pack. It comes in greens and subtle colors. Don't you just love these? I put my background together using double sided adhesive tape. Just peel two of the four sides away so you have two sides left on which you can move around a bit. You could use other adhesives, I just love the tape. I have a really bad relationship with glue, but use whatever you like. When you use the tape, maybe just this tip will help. Don't forget to remove the last two sides of the adhesive. Then, moving on to the focal point of my card. I die cut out a piece of thick white, whisper white paper with a gorgeous framelit from the coordinating dies. A square with gorgeous die cut leaves. I then die cut it again with a slightly larger square from the layering squares framelits. I then started working on a blended background that I'd like to place behind my square with the leaves. I used a piece of Whisper White cardstock that I blended with the blending tool in three colors of green. I used the blending tool because I can hold this one better with my sore hands, but use a stamping sponge if you'd like, they do blend great too. I started blending with Lemon Land Twist, then used Granny Apple Green and finished with Call Me Clover. All these three are bright greens and I just love them. After blending, I like to add some water drops onto my background. Use a few water drops and a brush to sprinkle water onto your paper, just for a fun effect. I then die cut out the blended paper with the same square die that I used before so it will fit right behind the first square part with the leaves. I had hurt the two layers together by using the fine tipped glue pen. I then added text to my card. I chose the text You Are The Greatest. I used a piece of basic black cardstock for this. Rub over your paper with an embossing body to make sure the paper is no longer static. Then stamp the text with Versamark ink twice onto your paper. Twice because we are going to cut the words in two. Place a well-folded extra piece of paper behind your cardstock and sprinkle it with white embossing powder. Tip the excess powder off and place it back in its container, simply by using your uh, folded paper as a glider. Then heat set the text with the heat tool to get a nice textured white phrase. Then fussy cut your text. First I used a large scissor to make a straight nice cut for the text part you are the and then I used the paper snips for the part greatest. I did cut around the text. The trick in nice cutting is to move your paper around your scissor. A precise job, but I don't mind some fuzzy cutting. Just put on some music and enjoy. It works relaxing for me. I placed the square part with dimensionals onto my card. I also heard the text using my mini dimensionals. When you get the fussy cut part uh, for the word greatest, you'll need very small pieces of dimensionals. I have a specific scissor which I uh, cut the mini dimensionals into small pieces. Your scissor will be sticky afterwards, so don't use your best one. I then stamped a leaf uh, to place on the side of my square. Using the stamparatus for this part, just remove the black foam mat when you are using rubber stamps. Place your paper with magnets onto the stamping tool, then align your stamp and close the lid. I first stamped this leaf with lemon lime twist ink. Then I used a dubber to create a second darker layer on the sides. Just tip some ink on the sides of your stamp and use the stamperating tool to create more than one layer of ink. I then die cut the leaf with the coordinating frame lid. I don't want to use the whole leaf so I just cut a piece and to make it fit my square and then adhere it with dimensionals onto my card. To finish my card I added some rhinestones for a bit of extra bling. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can find a supply list for this card on my blog.
The address will be shown at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.